Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun. Hold still, Riley murmured, her brow furrowed in concentration. I don't want to mess this up. Connor nodded, careful not to move his hand. He'd been surprised when Riley had asked to paint his nails earlier that afternoon. At first he'd laughed it off, assuming she was joking, but something in her earnest expression made him pause. Come on, it'll be fun, she'd urged. I just got this new color and I want to see how it looks. After a moment's hesitation, Connor had shrugged and agreed. Why not? He'd said, settling onto the couch beside her. But if mom and dad give me grief about it, I'm blaming you. Now, as he watched the polish transform his plain nails into glossy blue ovals, Connor felt an unexpected surge of excitement. The color was rich and deep, reminding him of the night sky just after sunset. He flexed his fingers, admiring how the light caught the sheen. What do you think? Riley asked, leaning back to survey her handiwork. Connor turned his hand this way and that, a smile tugging at his lips. It's pretty cool, actually, he admitted. The words felt strange in his mouth, but they rang true. There was something oddly satisfying about seeing his nails painted, a small act of rebellion against the expectations that had always surrounded him. Riley beamed, clearly pleased with both her work and his reaction. I knew you'd like it. Want me to do your other hand? Without hesitation, Connor nodded, holding out his right hand. As Riley began applying the base coat, he found himself relaxing into the process. The rhythmic brush strokes were soothing, and the scent of nail polish, which he'd always found overpowering before, now seemed almost pleasant. So, Riley said casually as she worked, there's this new makeup palette I've been dying to try out. Maybe when we're done here, you could let me practice on you? Connor's first instinct was to refuse. Nail polish was one thing, but makeup? That seemed like a step too far. Yet as he opened his mouth to decline, he found himself pausing. The small thrill he'd felt seeing his painted nails made him curious. What would it be like to see his face transformed? I... I don't know, Rye, he said hesitantly. Isn't that a bit much? Riley shrugged, not looking up from her task. It's just for fun! Plus, I need to practice my techniques if I'm ever going to make it as a makeup artist. Come on, be my guinea pig. I promise I won't make you look like a clown. Connor chuckled, imagining himself with bright red cheeks and a painted-on smile. Well, when you put it that way, how can I refuse? The sarcasm in his voice was belied by the hint of genuine interest he felt. As Riley finished the second coat on his right hand, Connor found himself growing impatient to see the final result. When she finally capped the bottle and told him not to move for a few minutes while the polish dried, he had to resist the urge to wave his hands around. This is kind of exciting, he admitted, surprising himself with his honesty. I've never really thought about how this stuff works before. Riley grinned, already rummaging through her makeup bag. Oh, just wait. Once I'm done with your face, you won't even recognize yourself. Those words sent an unexpected shiver down Connor's spine. He wasn't sure if it was anticipation or nervousness, but he found himself leaning forward as Riley laid out an array of brushes, compacts, and tubes on the coffee table. Okay. Close your eyes, she instructed, wielding a fluffy brush. Connor complied, feeling the soft bristles sweep across his eyelids. It tickled, and he had to fight the urge to scrunch up his face. As Riley worked, 
applying various products that Connor couldn't begin to name, he found himself hyper-aware of every touch, every sensation. The cool glide of liquid foundation, the gentle pat of a beauty blender, the feather-light sweep of powder. Each new texture brought with it a sense of transformation, as if he were clay being molded into a new shape. All right, pucker up, Riley said, and Connor felt the waxy glide of lipstick across his mouth. The scent of vanilla filled his nostrils, and he resisted the urge to lick his lips. And done, Riley announced triumphantly. Want to see? Connor's heart began to race as he nodded. Riley handed him a small mirror and, with a deep breath, he raised it to his face. The person staring back at him was both familiar and utterly foreign. His features were softened, his eyes seemingly larger and more luminous. A subtle shimmer highlighted his cheekbones, and his lips were a deep, rich red that made them look fuller. It was still recognizably him, but different. Better, somehow. Wow, he breathed, turning his head to see different angles. This is... wow. Riley bounced on the balls of her feet, clearly thrilled with his reaction. You like it? I went for a natural look, but with a pop of color on the lips. I think it really suits you. Connor nodded, unable to tear his eyes away from his reflection. He felt a strange sense of rightness, as if he were seeing himself clearly for the first time. The makeup wasn't a mask. It was a revelation. Hey, Riley said, interrupting his thoughts. Want to go shopping? We could get you some clothes to match your new look. Connor hesitated, his mind racing. Part of him wanted to say yes immediately, to dive headfirst into this new world that had suddenly opened up before him. But another part, the part that had spent years conforming to expectations, balked at the idea. I don't know, Rye, he said slowly. Isn't that a bit much? Riley shrugged, her expression understanding but encouraging. It's just clothes, Con. We don't have to buy anything if you don't want to. But it might be fun to try some things on, see how they look. No pressure, though. Connor looked back at his reflection, taking in the subtle changes that made such a dramatic difference. He thought about how it felt to see his nails painted, the little thrill of excitement it had given him. What would it be like to see himself in entirely new clothes? Okay, he said finally, surprising himself with how steady his voice sounded. Let's do it. Riley's face lit up, and she clapped her hands excitedly. Yes! This is going to be so much fun! Let me just grab my purse and we can go! As Riley darted off to her room, Connor took one last look in the mirror. The person looking back at him seemed more confident, more alive somehow. He took a deep breath, steeling himself for what was to come. The drive to the mall was a blur of nervous energy and excited chatter. Riley kept up a steady stream of conversation, pointing out stores they should check out and styles she thought would look good on Connor. For his part, Connor tried to focus on the road, his painted nails standing out starkly against the steering wheel. As they pulled into the parking lot, Connor felt a momentary panic. What if someone they knew saw them? What would people think? But then he caught sight of his reflection in the rearview mirror, saw the subtle makeup enhancing his features, and felt a surge of determination. He was doing this for himself, not for anyone else. The mall was bustling with Saturday afternoon shoppers, but Connor barely noticed them as Riley led him confidently through the crowds. They bypassed the stores he usually frequented, heading instead for a section of the mall he'd never paid much attention to before. 
Here we go, Riley said, coming to a stop in front of a storefront filled with colorful, flowing fabrics. This place has some great stuff, and they're pretty inclusive. Want to start here? Connor nodded, his mouth suddenly dry. As they stepped into the store, he was enveloped by the scent of perfume and the soft sound of pop music playing over hidden speakers. Racks of clothes stretched out before him, a dizzying array of styles and colors. Ooh, look at this! Riley exclaimed, holding up a silky blouse in a deep emerald green. This would look amazing with your eyes. Want to try it on? Connor reached out hesitantly, running his fingers over the smooth fabric. It felt cool and luxurious against his skin, nothing like the sturdy cotton of his usual t-shirts. I... Yeah, okay, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. Encouraged by his agreement, Riley began flitting through the racks, pulling out items and holding them up for inspection. A flowing skirt in a swirling galaxy print. A pair of high-waisted jeans that promised to hug curves he didn't have. A soft, oversized sweater that looked impossibly cozy. Before long, Connor's arms were full of clothes, and Riley was ushering him towards the fitting rooms. Go on, she said, giving him a gentle push. I'll be right out here if you need anything. The fitting room was small, but mercifully private. Connor hung up the clothes Riley had picked out, then stood for a moment, staring at his reflection in the full-length mirror. The person looking back at him seemed poised on the edge of something momentous. With trembling fingers, he began to undress. As he pulled off his baggy jeans and worn t-shirt, he felt as if he were shedding more than just clothes. Each familiar item that fell to the floor felt like a piece of his old self left behind. He reached for the silky green blouse first, slipping it over his head. The fabric whispered against his skin, cool and smooth. He tucked it into the high-waisted jeans, which hugged his hips in a way that made him suddenly aware of the shape of his body. Turning to face the mirror, Connor's breath caught in his throat. The person staring back at him was beautiful. The blouse brought out the green in his eyes, making them seem to sparkle. The jeans emphasized a waist he'd never noticed before, creating a silhouette that was undeniably feminine. Connor? Riley's voice came through the door. How's it going in there? Can I see? For a moment... Connor hesitated. Showing Riley felt like making this real, admitting that this wasn't just a game or an experiment. But as he looked at his reflection again, he knew he couldn't keep this to himself. Yeah, he called back, his voice shaky. Come in. The door opened, and Riley stepped inside. Her eyes widened as she took in the sight of her brother transformed. Oh my god, she breathed. Connor, you look amazing! Connor felt a blush creep up his cheeks, but he couldn't stop the smile that spread across his face. You think so? He asked, smoothing his hands down the front of the blouse. Absolutely! Riley exclaimed. That color is perfect on you. How does it feel? Connor took a deep breath, considering the question. How did it feel? It felt... right. Like coming home to a place he'd never been before. Like seeing clearly after a lifetime of blurred vision. It feels good, he said softly. Really good. Riley beamed at him, her eyes sparkling with excitement. Try on the skirt next she urged. I want to see how it looks with that top. As Connor changed into the galaxy print skirt, he found himself moving with a newfound grace. 
the fabric swirled around his legs, creating a mesmerizing effect as he turned. When he looked in the mirror again, he barely recognized himself. The person looking back at him was undeniably feminine, with a confidence he'd never seen in his own reflection before. Wow, Riley breathed. Connor, you're gorgeous. The word hit Connor like a physical force. Gorgeous. Not handsome, not good-looking, but gorgeous. It was a word he'd never imagined being applied to him, but looking at his reflection, he couldn't deny its accuracy. They spent the next hour in the fitting room, Connor trying on outfit after outfit as Riley offered encouragement and advice. With each new combination, Connor felt more comfortable, more at ease in his own skin. The clothes weren't just fabric, they were a key, unlocking a part of himself he'd never known existed. As he slipped on a soft, pink sweater dress, Connor felt a sudden wave of emotion wash over him. He looked at himself in the mirror, taking in the way the dress hugged his body, the way it made him look softer, more delicate. And in that moment, something clicked into place. Riley, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I think, I think I might be a girl. The words hung in the air between them, heavy with implication. Riley's eyes widened, but there was no shock or disgust in her expression. Instead, she nodded slowly, as if she'd been expecting this. Yeah, she said softly. I kind of wondered if that might be the case. How long have you felt this way? Connor shook his head, overwhelmed by the rush of emotions coursing through him. I don't know, he admitted. I mean, I've always felt... different, somehow. But I never had the words for it. Until now. Riley stepped forward, wrapping her arms around her sibling in a tight hug. I'm so proud of you, she murmured. Thank you for trusting me with this. Connor hugged her back, feeling tears prick at the corners of his eyes. Thank you, he whispered. For everything. For helping me see myself clearly. As they broke apart, Riley wiped at her own eyes, smiling through her tears. So, she said her voice thick with emotion. Should I start calling you something else? Or are you sticking with Connor for now? The question caught Connor off guard. He hadn't even considered the possibility of a new name. But as he thought about it, he realized that Connor no longer felt right. It was a name that belonged to someone else, someone he was leaving behind. I... I don't know he said hesitantly. I hadn't thought about it. Do you have any ideas? Riley tilted her head, studying her sibling's face. How about... Cassie? She suggested. It means she who shines, and I think that fits you perfectly. Cassie. The name resonated within her, feeling right in a way that Connor never had. She rolled it around in her mind, testing how it felt. Cassie. Yes, that was who she was. Cassie, she said aloud, tasting the name on her tongue. I like it. I think... I think that's me. Riley's face lit up with a brilliant smile. Cassie it is then, she said, pulling her sister into another hug. Welcome to the world, Cassie. I can't wait to get to know you. As they embraced, Cassie felt a sense of peace wash over her. For the first time in her life, everything felt right. The clothes, the makeup, the name. They weren't a disguise or a game. They were her truth, finally revealed. When they finally left the fitting room, 
Cassie felt as if she were floating. They made their way to the checkout counter, arms laden with clothes that represented not just a new wardrobe, but a new life. As the cashier rang up their purchases, Cassie caught sight of herself in a nearby mirror. The person looking back at her was radiant, glowing with an inner light she'd never seen before. Ready to go home? Riley asked as they left the store, shopping bags swinging from their arms. Cassie nodded, feeling a mix of excitement and nervousness at the thought of facing the rest of the world. But with Riley by her side, she felt strong enough to take on anything. As they walked through the mall, Cassie held her head high, no longer worried about who might see her. This was who she was, who she had always been, even if she hadn't known it. And for the first time in her life, she was truly, completely herself. The drive home was filled with excited chatter as Cassie and Riley discussed plans for the future. There would be challenges ahead, they both knew. Telling their parents, dealing with school, navigating the complex world of transition. But in that moment, buoyed by the joy of self-discovery, those challenges seemed surmountable. As they pulled into their driveway, Cassie took a deep breath, stealing herself for what was to come. But as she caught sight of her reflection in the car window, the subtle makeup, the flowing top she'd decided to wear home, the undeniable glow of happiness on her face, she knew that whatever happened, she was on the right path. Ready? Riley asked, reaching out to squeeze her hand. Cassie nodded, feeling a surge of confidence. Ready, she replied her voice strong and clear. Let's do this. Thanks for watching my girlies. Be sure to check out Patreon for more.